Today in Caesarea, the ruins of Herod's palace can still be seen. It was in Caesarea that the Apostle Paul was imprisoned before making an appeal unto Caesar, and it was here that Vespasian was declared by his troops to be emperor of the Roman Empire. Before returning to Rome for his coronation, Vespasian assigned the Roman general Titus the task of putting an end to the Jewish uprising that was taking place. And in 70 AD, the final siege of Jerusalem began. After allowing great numbers of people to enter the city of Jerusalem for Passover, Roman forces consisting of some 30,000 troops besieged the city. 143 days later, the city was taken. An estimated 600,000 people were slaughtered and the temple was reduced to rubble, totally destroyed. Jesus had warned that this would happen, that everything would be thrown down, and that there would be not left one stone upon another. He said that when this began to happen, that people should leave the city, and only those who received their Messiah listened. They knew the voice of the Good Shepherd and obeyed. Well, we know from history that those people not only believed in Yeshua, Jesus, but they kept the commandments of God. Now, why is all this important? There's overwhelming historical documentation that within only 100 years after the time of Christ, commandment-keeping believers had been driven away from Jerusalem. As they left, they took with them the faith practiced by those who walked and talked with Jesus. Shortly after that time, a pagan city was built upon the ruins of Jerusalem, and along with the city came pagan traditions of Rome that would have a great impact on the Christianity of future generations. Today, we're still dealing with those pagan traditions. Time is the ally of deceit, and over the past 2,000 years, traditions that cannot be found in the Bible have been gradually introduced and are now accepted by mainstream Christianity. Now, when I learned that I had been deceived by the theological experts that I had trusted, it was an almost unbelievable surprise. I had to make a decision. Did I want to defend my beliefs or did I want to know the truth? We all have to make that decision. Well, I decided that I wanted to know the truth and as a result, I began to document my findings. After 20 years of work, I've published those findings in two books, Too Long in the Sun and Time is the Ally of Deceit. The new book, Time is the Ally of Deceit, is also available with an optional five DVD study series. Satan, our adversary, is the father of lies and the master of deceit. His goal has always been to confuse, to scramble the information we need to make good decisions, a historical puzzle, if you will. By way of my books and DVDs, I have attempted to put that puzzle together for those who have decided that they are tired of trying to defend the things that they have been taught and who want to know the truth, no matter what. If you're interested in what I've discovered, my materials are now available by way of the WorldNet Daily Superstore. WorldNet Daily is all about truth, and I consider it a great privilege to be a small contributor. Earnestly contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts.